Hello everybody, my name is Sarah and today we're going to be talking about how to be okay with people not liking you. If you're new to my channel, I do own an online metaphysical shop, so I do like to share my progress with my business a lot as well as talk about a lot of wellness and mindful motivation. So today I want to talk to you guys about confidence and anxieties and fears and worries and being ashamed of your past and how you can actually use all of that stuff to fuel your confidence. And I know that that probably sounds ridiculous. So first I wanna go over three tips that you could put into your everyday life, like your job or a party. These, these help a lot with, with family gatherings for me. And then afterwards I'll talk about how you can really truly accept people not liking you on a much deeper spiritual level. But first let's go over these three tips. So the first one is gonna be, you have to stop, oh my God, I hope they like me, in yourself. Switch it up. Start thinking, do I like this person? Am I enjoying talking to this person? Am I enjoying their company right now? This is what your internal dialogue should sound like. This is exciting and I get to see if I actually enjoy talking to this person. Rather than, oh my god, this is terrifying and I'm so scared that they don't like me. Tip number two is to be authentic in the way that you treat people and the way that you react to people. Don't fake laugh, don't fake smile. People can sense when you are being authentic and they are drawn to that. People are just naturally drawn to authenticity. Trying to act a certain way or to like blend in in uncomfortable situations doesn't take the attention off of you. If anything, it adds more attention to you as an unauthentic person and that right there is gonna make people not like you anyway. Tip number three is going to be to share your flaws and your insecurities, which is something that I do all of the time on my channel here. So instead of trying to be perfect all of the time, it allows for you to connect with people on an actual like deep emotional level through shared experiences. This way you also don't have to hide any parts of yourself. You're always being true to yourself and to the people around you. So that'll lead to a lot of self-love and self-acceptance when you're not having to hide any part of who you are or what you've been through. Now those three right there are really simple and they will help with like the day-to-day -day stuff or parties or family gatherings. But if you really want to dig deep and to change the way that you truly feel about people not liking you, then stick around and I will tell you how I kind of just changed my whole perspective. I have spent the last few years doing a lot of shadow work and just digging into my own psyche and trying to figure out why I was such a monster back in my early 20s because it wasn't that hard to figure it out. I had a really traumatic experience as a teenager and so I got really depressed. And then I tried to cover up the depression with anger and then that didn't work. So then I tried to fuel my anger with alcohol and eventually just got to a point where I was trying to turn my life into one not worth living. And I know that that sounds incredibly overdramatic, but I was incredibly overdramatic. I used to, whenever I thought about all of the stupid shit that I did back in my 20s or back in my 20s, back in my early 20s, I would kind of like repunish myself or like re-experience the emotions that I felt whenever I did that stuff. So anxiety, anger, depression, I just, I was punishing myself all over again, all of the time. So the way that I first changed that was I changed the way that I looked at my past. I have created a lot of enemies. I have ruined every friendship I've ever had. I have ruined almost all of my relationships with my family. So I don't really have a choice when it comes to the whole, you know, oh, I want people to like me thing. I don't really have a choice because there's just a lot of people that are not going to like me and there's nothing that I can do to change that. Maybe if I had lived my entire life walking on eggshells, I could still aspire to live a life where I wanted everyone to like me, but that sounds exhausting. I think that it's actually easier for me now to be okay with people not liking me because I have learned to accept the fact that there's nothing that I can do about it. It's out of my hands. It's in the past. People are always going to remember me as the person that did all the things that I did back in my early 20s. And the only thing that I can really do about that is to know that I don't identify with that person anymore. I don't really get depressed or anxious now whenever I think about my past. I'm able to instead just think what happened and why it happened and also just process it and remember that it's in the past. What is important right now is what I'm doing right now. 
And no matter if I'm feeling a little bit anxious or sad or depressed, know that it's always okay to feel those things and allow yourself to feel those things because the more that you try to fight it, the worse that it'll get. If you let these things happen and process and pass, then you will grow as a human being. And you will know at all times, no matter what's going on, that you are okay and that you're going to be okay. Whether anyone likes you or not, you'll realize that that doesn't really matter. What matters is if you like you. And I bet that once you're able to really forgive yourself and to be okay with who you are, you're gonna learn to start loving yourself. Because once you start loving yourself, you start caring for yourself. You start wanting better for yourself. And you will be amazed at the lengths that you will go to to better your life when you actually care about yourself. It still blows my mind when I think of how many changes I have made in my life just in the past couple of years, getting sober and getting into a fitness routine that I love and that I enjoy and that works. Waking up early every morning, that's crazy. I used to sleep till four or five o'clock in the afternoon. So now I'm waking up at like seven every day and it's, it's weird. It's good, it's great, I love it. I feel great about it, but it's weird. I make my bed now, like what the hell? I don't even recognize myself, but in like the best way. Anyways, I hope that this video was helpful for some people out there that may have gone through some similar things that I did or just are in a place where they they want to be okay with the fact that people don't like them because it's, I mean, I seriously doubt there's a single person on this planet that no one dislikes, except for Keanu Reeves. I'm going to go ahead and say that one right there. But in all reality, I don't think that that's even possible. So it's good to learn things like this because it just helps you move on with your own life and focus on the things that really matter because what it really boils down to is that it doesn't matter if other people don't like you what matters is if you like you thank you guys so much for watching and if you do have any input whatsoever please leave it down below in the comments and if you could give me a like on this video i would greatly appreciate it or if you would like to subscribe below to continue on i'm probably going to be talking about a lot of this stuff <laughs> because I can't really move forward with the business right now. And I talked about it in my last video. If you want, it will tag it up here. If you would like to check out just a lot of things have been changing. A lot of stress has been going on. And so I'm really trying to focus on stuff like this that I think will help me like in my heart grow. But anyways, thank you guys again so much for watching. And as always, be excellent to each other. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.